Oh my God, you guys, do you know what day this is? I'm so excited. I've been waiting 12 months for the results of my scientific chocolate cheapo candy bloom experiment. Because those of you who read our Grossman Law Firm newsletter know last year I wrote a column where I wondered aloud if this chocolate magically, as the Hershey's company will tell you, expires September. That just doesn't quite have the ring of truth to me, Hershey's, because what happens in October? Halloween. So they obviously slap the September expiration date on there, not wanting me to go to the store on November 1st and be like, ooh, you know, cute, pretty bag of chocolate with the fall, you know, leaves and stuff on it to save for the next year. So I am like the one obsessive person. Like I cannot even tell you how many times this past year Scott, it'll be like 10 at night. <laughs> There's nothing sweet in the house. And he'll come in from the pantry like, are we still not allowed to eat the, yes, the note. It says stop with a little cute stop sign. Do not open scientific experiment because I wanted to keep these under scientific conditions. So my bags remain sealed in their hermetically sealed little packages, cool, dark place, the pantry. And I am going to see, you know, because how this all came about is I was like, you know what? That's so ridiculous. It's not what's so magical that on, you know, September 30th, the chocolate's really good. And on October 1st, it's going to like explode. No, that just cannot be. So my friends were like, no, you're just really cheap. You don't want to be the house that the kids are like, oh my God, the chocolate had bloom because bloom. It's like this big thing amongst candy aficionados that it gets that white stuff. If you've ever opened usually like cheap candy or like candy that was at pick and save or big lots or whatever that is white and it's actually, it won't hurt you. It's not like mold. It's called bloom. And I guess it happens to candy and it's not good, not a sign of quality. So anyway, it's going to be bloom. It's going to be really bad. And people take their hardcore, like Halloween, they're hardcore in this neighborhood. Like we moved here and I was like, oh, you know, there's not that many kids, whatever. No, people drive into our neighborhood and they park their cars and walk in because they want our candy. And there's a house. Oh my God. They make total, they stand out in their driveway with a hibachi and they make s'mores and they'll give you a s'more. So it's a big deal. It's like, I'm not going to be that house, you know, with the bad cheap candy. So I'm like, okay, I will put it to the test. I'm willing to be obsessive on this. And I've been like, oh, all year, like I'm going to do my experience. So I've been really busy. I wanted to like on October 1st, I was going to do it. So it's now October 7th. So here we are. Anyway, here are my witnesses, internet. The scientific label is off. Scott's going to be so happy. He's going to come home and be like, oh, I can eat that candy now. So anyway, it's the special, like the Hershey's bag with like the cute little fall leaves and stuff. So, and actually, honestly, I can't even give this for Halloween because kids, the parents are all crazy, will not eat. The, it's like the delicately wrapped ones. They want the kind that's like the factory pouch heat seal. This is a this is a form of wrapping. It's like Hershey's Kiss. The, I personally would probably not want to do it. I'm opening it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like you open the bag, they do something to this, and it's like, it wafts out. So, ew, crackle, I don't like crackle. Um, <laughs> I, You know, of this bag, I've got to say really the one I like is the special dark. And actually, I usually pick them all out and save them because, because they don't like special dark, whatever, they don't care, it's just wasted on them. So go back outside and play. I'm sorry, I'm hiding. Go out! I'm, I'm actually in my bedroom because I'm hiding from the kids. They've been chasing me all day. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to experiment on one that I don't really like very much because that seems like, you know, I don't want to waste. I'm not going to open a special dark and have that be wasted. So, okay, here you go. I am going to find, I just want a regular, like a milk. Wow. Okay, we'll do a Mr. Good Bar. <laughs> Scott really likes that. Okay, vindicated. This is perfect. It's beautiful. I could proudly serve this with no shame or embarrassment to any kid in the neighborhood. So kids, come get your, your 2013 Halloween candy at the Grossman household.